Hey everybody, what's going on? Brother John here. Welcome to Modern Deism and Third Proverb. I will be putting this video up on both channels. I uh, truly hope everybody's doing well out there. You had a great holiday if you celebrate. And uh, just hope everything's all good with you and your family. I'm going to start today right off with an analogy. It's nothing new. It's been said before in so many different ways. And where I'm at on my spiritual path is a different phase, I think, now. See, when I left the beliefs, the fundamental beliefs of Christianity, I went through a phase of um, bit of anger. Because there was a part of me that felt I wasted a lot of years believing a certain thing. thinking that now that's the past I cannot change the past and I no longer look at it as wasted I know some of you don't like my smoking so um, I have electronic cigarette here kind of helps me think a little bit so you gotta meet me halfway okay <laughs> um Alamo. <laughs> um, where was I? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So, I'm in a different phase now. Um, I'm not, I'm past the point where I have to make people see things the way I see things. I understand that everyone is at different phases in their life. I am by no means here to say that I have absolute truth for you. My only hopes is that I say something that perhaps gives you one of those aha moments. Like so many have done for me. That being said, let me give an analogy here. And... Uh, We'll take it from there. I have a couple of notes. So I'll be looking at that. As you can see here, it's just snowed. Got a couple of inches. And I want you to imagine that you live in a climate where it snows most of the time. This is what you see. That's what I want you to imagine that that is all you know. And you already, a lot of you already know where I'm going with this. And if someone came along, never met him before, and they told you, I know a place that you never see this. It's not cold. There's no snow. It's actually pretty warm. A lot of sunshine. I proceed to tell you about different types of plants that you might never heard of. Different types of fruits and foods and vegetables, animals. That would be totally foreign to your thinking because you only know this.
And the people who share your climate, and only knowing this, tell you that this is it. And if you go past that point, you will fall off the edge of the earth. Or the edge of the land. Whatever terminology it may be. We know from history that many believe that the earth was flat. And the thing about the human spirit and the urge to explore and discover the new frontiers, right? Was to challenge the belief that I was not going to fall off the edge of that earth. I listen to, I have people I'm subscribed to for various different reasons, like most of you. Some that share, some I'll be subscribed to some people who uh, share things about the economy and politics, and um, you feel like you're in agreement with them, and you like, you enjoy their videos. Um, but then the question always comes up. One way or another, somehow, God or religion comes into play. I think that some of us make a mistake that we will not listen to what someone has to say simply because they think different religiously or they think different about God if we have such if, if you have such a fundamental view of something and someone else you know has a different view we do a disservice to ourselves not to think that they don't have anything else good or productive beneficial or something that we can really learn from them in the knowledge of something else you truly do yourself a disservice 